Ah, uh, welcome everyone to another episode of Victoria 2 Heart of Zombies! So guys, we're back here in this episode of Austin and where, as you guys know, we're having just rebels. Just major rebel problems. Because this game is not designed to be like the conquest spree of most other games. It's, it's very much designed that you're supposed to take it easy and then go after different places. You know, you're supposed to take it, you're supposed to go to war like maybe at max seven times in the game. Three times with great power and then two times with some kind of minor, minor power. So we're dealing with a lot of that kind of problems right now. The, the, the spawning I'm really starting to hate. Like seriously, I really wish the spawning bug would go away. Uh, but sadly, I'm playing this. Some of some of the enjoyments I find with with this game is the fact it has so many flaws. Like, I, I don't know. I find I find I don't know. I I hate the rebel system with the burning passion, but I also kind of enjoy it when it happens to like Russia or Prussia and it just like destroys the entire country. It is so funny to watch. But right now, it's not very funny to watch because it's my own country they're destroying. And I'm not really enjoying it. <laughs> like at all. In fact, I, I could almost say I ruin Lament it right now. And more along this. Okay guys, stop stop collapsing. I'll be subsidizing every single factory, so you guys should not be collapsing. Oh my gosh. Okay. Expand. Long live internal crises! Yay! Hmm. This war this war for uh, Prussian dominance is Almost over. We just have to go conquer those little tiny states so they stop having their own independent will. Holy shoot. Okay. Now you guys have given me a, mo a reason to mobilize. Didn't have one before, but now you guys have given me one. And a couple of my places have freed up. So now, everyone, let's see if this changes the map. Let's see if this actually becomes the United States of A instead of, instead of United States of A and American South America. Let's see if we can unite that to be the real United States of America. Let's see if this let's see if this land of liberty is finally safe and affiliated for everyone to visit. Let's find out. Yes! USA! 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 Yeah! And we'll also start filling in all of this because quite frankly it looks ugly if I don't. <laughs> I hate to admit it, but it looks so dang ugly if I don't fill this in, so... Yeah, now, instead of being American South America, we are now officially all America. And this completes one of my fa phases I was talking about, about taking over all of South America. It finally came true. It just took a lot longer than I expected to get it. So, now I'm gonna have these guys go hunt down rebels. I should have these guys also go hunt down rebels. And now we have instant land. To go all the way from the tippy point of... I don't remember what this is called. Um, I know these are the Falkland Islands, but I don't know remember what this is called. But all the way to south of South America, all the way north to actually wait, we actually don't have a landmass to do here because we still have to go defeat the United Kingdom. Well then, you know who my next target is? <laughs> 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 Uh, that was kind of weak, but my brain's kind of out of it right now. So let's see. This place right here it wants to become a real and living protectorate. Yes. Okay, let's see. Let's just keep colonizing everywhere. And now we're going to own where, Me where Santo Domingo used to be. Let's just upgrade that. Well, actually, we're going to own where Mexico used to be. That's kind of cool. So now we'll own all of this. Everywhere where Mexico used to be a country... We're gonna own, and we're just gonna conquer in the America Ultra Liberals. All these rebels are starting to really pile up. But they are really trying to annoy me now. Like, seriously, they are really starting to annoy me. So let's see. Where's my death stack of awesomeness where I should have, like, production impact? Good to note. But where's my death stack of awesomeness where I have, like, 16,000 troops? I'm pretty, I'm, what I'm guessing is happening is that because I'm so jinderistic and because my people are so like warlike, I'm guessing no one's joining in for the mobilization effort. We go to war so much, they're like, oh no, war, war never changes. And oh shoot, that's actually a big concern that they're right next to my capital. Go man, go! Okay, I'm gonna have you guys specifically break all the bigger armies. 
Um, not this one, because that's the American Republic. Go okay, that should not happen. Those two rebellions should be like tearing themselves apart. I mean, honestly, rebels do not have the same goals, so they should not be like allying themselves with the same people. But gosh dang, I'm gonna be. <laughs> Who would have known in a zombie apocalypse I'd be done in by man and not zombies? Oh uh, gosh. Let's see, Monotello. Okay, let's get this protectorate. Okay. Oh gosh. <laughs> I'm seriously gonna laugh if I'm really gonna take it over by rebels. Okay, you guys go over here. Yeah, I think after this, I'm probably not gonna have to go to war for like 16 years or something. My my people are tired. They're definitely tired. Long live the USA. Yeah, maybe I won't even go conquer these little tiny states. Maybe I'll actually be nice, which is a weird thing for me to say, but maybe, just maybe I'll be nice. Okay, and you got more places becoming American. Where, okay, this place, I guess I forgot to make it for a protectorate. There we go. And there we go, we're slowly, slowly filling it in. Look at that, all that blue. All that blue, guys. The girls in Jefferson City. That's all we say in the military, the girls in Jefferson City. <laughs> okay, so now we got more losses. You know, if all goes to worse, I guess I could fall back on this colony right here. All this, all this expansionist land I've been conquering. And oh my goodness, it looks like America's actually being torn apart by its own by its own problems. Okay, let's see. Let's start organizing some of my armies. Organize. Because that's kind of half the battle right now, is organizing half my armies. Okay, all you guys go right here. All you American nationalists go right here. All you guys go start hunting. Yeah, just go start hunting as many as you can. Remember, kill a rebel for your mommy. Okay, let's go right here. Go right here, and let's just combine some of our armies together to start helping us fight against all these rebels. So all these rebels are starting to annoy me a little bit. So they are starting to flood into Canada, which is a good sign. Let's go right here, go start fighting all these guys. Okay, okay, is that the biggest death stack we have? Okay, we have more. Get all the guys combined. There we go. There we go. Guys, go hunt them all down. Mm hmm Let's go see this intervene immediately. Wahahaha. Okay. Intervene, intervene. Everyone just keep fighting. What the? Go fight against these guys. No, you guys are not getting out of the war that easily. I want... Holy shoot! Yeah, okay, okay, okay. We'll we'll get out of you guys' war. You got you guys seem to be having your own your own problems. Okay, you guys ready to give up? No. Okay, yeah, yeah, we'll we'll get out. America, get out! Get out, America! We're not fighting this anymore! Get out! We don't need to fight this! Okay, it's their problem now! No! Oh no! Oh guys, I'm in trouble now. <laughs> Everyone go right there, please. Go save that army, please. Go make sure all those... Yeah, go destroy the rebels, please. There we go. Now we're starting to fight back. Okay, maybe not because my people are kind of stupid. Okay, guys, goop up. When there's a big, gigantic zombie horde gooping up, you guys goop up too. There's safety in numbers. Okay. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not even joking. When there's a big, gigantic zombie apocalypse, you guys all fight together. Okay. Okay. <sighs> I'm gonna have to go send... Oh, gosh. I allow free speech. I allow my people to do whatever they want. And they repay me with more and more. What are you guys mad about, even? 4.3... There we go, I gave you guys a little suffrage, now please stop being so much of a... Like, why you guys... What is the main reason why you guys are Jacobsons? I know the Jacobsons are like, strangely powerful right now. Uh... <laughs> I think I might actually lose this. I think I might actually, like, 
be taken over by rebels. <laughs> Denmark has going glass. Okay. What I might be able to do. This might be my only chance. Everyone that's in a battle, retreat to Washington, D.C. Because as long as I hold down the capital, I can live. So whatever, whatever men can go, just everyone get out of here. Everyone keep, everyone make it to Washington. Everyone get to Washington. Okay. Oh gosh. Okay, no. You guys get to go around. Yeah, don't go directly towards Washington. We have a gigantic army in the Battle of Bull Run. I don't want to fight. Don't want you guys to fight that. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh gosh. Yeah. Okay, everyone move right here. Just, everyone, just stop moving. Move exactly what I tell you guys. Okay, everyone move right here. Combine. Stop Stop hunting down rebels. <laughs> we're, we're just trying to consolidate power in Washington, D.C. Save our butts. While the rest of the world just slowly dies around us because... Apparently democracy does not work in a zombie apocalypse. And you heard it here for you heard it here first, folks. Democracy does not work in a zombie apocalypse. Okay. Let's just combine all you guys. Okay, combine. Go hunt these. Maybe we could go fight this big gigantic death stack right here. Go back here. No, my men are dead. <laughs> I don't believe this. I'm actually gonna lose. Oh gosh, long live the USA. Uh, yeah, I lost. I lost. Oh gosh. Well, that's... Um, there might be... Is there anything I could do? I, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. I'm, these guys... I, I, could, I could demobilize. I could at least bring everyone home, I guess. They all know that the cause is hopeless and... As rebels slowly encompass the world, the safe world I built for them, the world that was not a flesh-eating menace, that wasn't actually that dictatorial, really. I mean, we gave a lot of people rights. We gave them the rights to vote. Everyone could vote in my country. I mean, usually this is where, like, a dictator would be overthrown, but I wasn't really that much of a dictator, so... These people apparently do not want a just a just and proper government. They obviously want the world to go to chaos, so why not let them, people? Why not let the rebels have what they want? If they want the world to go to chaos, we'll let the world go to chaos. <laughs> yeah, army, I, you, you could go to try, try to defend, but try to defend wherever you might, but uh, uh. It's o it's over, guys. I can always see it's over. Um, Prussia, you guys will accept. Well, at least I won my last war. And it wasn't like I lost the war in this entire thing. Uh, let's see. I, I may not. I mean, I still might pull out of this, but it's 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 nearly um impossible. Another state. Don't know how many states we have. And let me guess. Another state. Another state. Good job. Another state. I don't know how many states we were up to, but we were up to a couple. Gosh, you know what? Oh, I, I was just about to disband all my armies so they wouldn't have to deal with any, like, death, but... You guys, just get out of there. If you can, get out of the armies. Whatever you guys do, just disband. Just just, just disband. I there's, there's Sometimes you have to realize when there's a, a lost cause, and... I guess... Hmm... Since my presidency is almost done, and the state of emergency of people is no longer good, let's... I, I kind of wish right now I could revoke all the freedoms I gave these people, because, I don't know, just be just. So, the last army's being destroyed right now. <laughs> USA. The United States of Anarchy. Girl in Charleston, so... Once that army destroys the last bit of America, yeah, the Jacobsons, everyone, I swear, everyone in my country is either one of those two things, either a Jacobson or a, or a ultra-liberal. Seriously, I mean, they, they all seem to be one or the other. Hawaii even revolted against me, wow. Hawaii even revolted. Oh my goodness, these guys, these guys are just not gonna stop, are they? Long live the USA. No, Hawaii did not revolt against me, so why are they, I don't know. I do not know. Army, risk management, yeah. 
The entire East Coast has been seized by rebels. We are in complete and utter anarchy. My capital is underneath their control. An elephant in America? What? Oh, sweet! But it was very kind of him to offer. You know what? I'll give him that, and... I think we just transferred governments illegally. And I don't know if you guys know this. Yeah, we did because I remember we had uh, universal, universal healthcare and everything. So I don't know if you guys know this, but if in any of my Victoria 2 games, if I get or basically I expand this to almost any game I ever play, if I get taken over by rebels at least once, I basically consider that I was dethroned and the campaign ends here. So yeah, this was actually a very fun campaign. Um. <laughs> I didn't expect us to be brought down by rebels. I mean, I we didn't get brought down by a nation. We didn't get brought down by zombies. I mean, I thought the zombies were going to kill us for sure. No, it was people. People were the ones that brought us down. So, moral lesson of the day. That's all I got to say. So, anyways, it was fun while it lasted. Um, I really did enjoy this series. It was really fun. I mean, like one, it was one of those series that you guys really, really enjoyed. Like, Oh my goodness, that's a lot of rebels. But you guys really, really enjoyed it. Like, I saw lots of new commenters. I saw new subscribers. I mean, a lot of you guys were fun. I mean, I got a lot of new people coming to me, which was fun to see. I always love seeing new people in, like, my uh, YouTubing business. That's always fun to hear the comments. The comments are always fun. Especially when you guys yell at me for pronouncing. This time around, it was the fact I pronounced Switzerland, Sweden. <laughs> oh, gosh. You... Sooner or later, some of you guys are going to learn that that's just what's going to happen, and, you know, I try my best, but it's just what's going to happen, so, accept, just accept it. So, anyways, but, you know, this was a fun series, I really did enjoy this mod, um, a couple things I would tweak about it is, one, make the French or whatever colonies, or whoever actually survives after the world is dead, actually make them colonize the rest of this land before they start focusing in on like Africa and like Asia and all these other places because it's still pretty weird to me right now that the French have not tried to colonize all of Italy or like Prussia didn't try to like colonize all of this because they could have like become a serious power if they'd done that or you know Serbia Serbia did a little bit of conquest I mean that was the only one I really did find that was different but then they stopped and yeah, now it's just this. I mean, they could have... Serbia could have been a real power with, like, all of the previous Ottoman land. I mean, I don't know. That's one thing I would also change. Another ch change I would also do is, with this mod, is... Um... Somehow lessen the, um... Maybe make... Maybe make some type of safe zone kind of, kind of situation. Like, I don't know how to... Implement this per se, but maybe an actual like safe zone causes bell eyes like I want the water like say you don't say I was down to like say I got conquered and I only had like one state and I wanted to go and attack this other guys Maybe there'd be like a causes bell eye to go like steal it'd be like steal like say this would be example I have fruit. I'd be Jimmy right now. I have fruit and I want to go attack France because they have wheat you know, I could go do that, I'd have a free cause better to go do that and go steal their water and, you know, maybe subjugate them. Something like that, you know, something really interesting. And then, um, I'd also say make the, uh, colonial, tweak the colonial range and tweak the colonial, how much it takes to actually colonize. Because, you know, since these were already, like, pre-built lands or pre-colonized lands, I feel like it would take less time of making them, quote-unquote, civilized than just regular lands in Africa, so, you know, you know, just kind of, just kind of little tweaks with that, just kind of peeves, but I also should mention that this mod is just an alpha, basically, it's not even finished, so, I'm sure by the final version, they'll, they'll have this all tweaked out, so, yeah, but, final thoughts, this was a great mod, I love the concept of zombie apocalypse, and anything zombies related, um, great, this was a great let's play, let me just say that, and so, while I bring this to a close, I want you guys to remember this is a great moment in our history. Uh, make, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe for the next episode, or the next series you guys want me to do, to bring you guys. Make sure to comment in the comment section, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.